All right, so I've had a few days now to use uh, Core Gadget and check out the latest update, and yeah, super excited about it. Uh, there's one thing that I want to talk about today and kind of do a little bit more of an exploratory video, um, and one of my biggest pain points with Core Gadget is or was the file management system. So I would work on a song in Gadget, and then I w it would automatically have a name for it, right? So it would store it for whatever the name was to begin with. Let's turn Bluetooth off. And then I, you know, save it. And then essentially I'd have like, I don't know, 200 or so songs, some of which I've named, some of which were like automatically named. And I just wouldn't have a good uh, management system. Like I wouldn't know which of the songs were ones that were finished, which ones were ones that were not finished but sounded super dope, or which ones were ones that were just like not good sounding at all just like an idea that i saved but it's not anything that i think i can grow into something and so now so basically what i'd have to do there is like i would go ahead and what would i do like add us add an asterisk next to certain songs or put like a wip next to certain songs to show like oh asterisk means that this is a good song or wip means that this is a song that i don't want to delete but it's not one that i am excited about or something right and that was just and also you couldn't rename songs right so i'd have to like pull up gadget pull up the uh, open a file um and i'd have to like save at like note the name of the current song save it as something else and then go back so i don't want i don't want duplicates of it go back and remember that name because they weren't in order right like the latest version that i saved was up top and then like if this is an older song the other one's on the bottom so it was like a big headache kind of thing for me and so now um, that's no longer an issue. So there's this organized feature in Gadget, which is a big deal. Uh, let me just hit play here to check the volume. Let me turn this down a little bit on the headphones. And OK, we should be good here. Oh, open, open new song. OK, um, well. Are we frozen here? I think we're frozen or something. Let's go, <laughs> let's go back in one more time. Hang on. Mm. Okay, so let's open and there we go. Okay, so essentially two things. One is in the file section here when you hit open there i created folders right so if i hit organize you can see okay this is everything in or in core gadget i created a folder called core master bad core master good let's actually rename this it's not really bad it's more so well some of them are bad but let's call this like maybe core master wip so these are songs that i that are all work in progress and let's call this core master uh dope cool so these are all songs that are work in progress and so essentially what we have here and let's maybe turn this can we turn this one off yeah let's turn that off oh much better yeah there we go we don't need that ring on here right and that's on high okay cool so essentially what we have here is if you go in here we um yeah okay what do we have well we have a situation where if you hit open these I moved all of my songs that I like in here. So the any song in here, theoretically, like e even this one here actually is not one of my best ones. So, but th this I guess belongs here. But I don't know if we go here, for example, these songs are all ones that I can come right into, and I've been getting into the habit actually too of hitting this loop on. So in my previous video I talked about this loop on being the same thing as this loop, but that's not true. Um, this loop on means that it's going to go like we have multiple sections, right? Like this, it's going to go all the way down and then it's going to loop back to the beginning. This loop just loops like the current, um, row. So we don't need multiple. So let's delete and delete. And I've been getting in the habit of saving so that my songs, at least everything in, um, the dope chord master section there are all, um, like, what am I trying to say? They are all good yeah cool like they they'll keep playing and i don't have to like worry think about always having to hit that when i load up a song so let's save that 
And yeah, essentially, right, what it is is you have these songs here. So if I go to WIP, so I'm still in the process of moving some songs from WIP to Dope because I don't remember how every single song sounds. So if I go here, for example, I, I probably should go in order, but I'm still kind of just doing like a random selection. So like if I hit this and I listen to it, that's I know that's not something that's a good song, right? So maybe that would stay there. Um, actually, what I probably should do is I probably should just go through all these in order, right? I should probably be like, oh, okay, significant figure. What does this sound like? So that's not one of my good sounding. So then I might go in here, WIP, and go to Paternal Flight and just kind of go in order. This is something that's interesting. Maybe something's here, right? I, I would probably even look to... It's not great, but it's interesting. Um, so, I don't know. This is somewhere in the middle, actually, so I'm not even sure where I would put this. I don't want this. This is not in the same category as some other stuff, but this is something that may be... Uh, that I can work on a little bit. So essentially today what I'm going to do is kind of go through the rest of all these bad or work in progress songs and move ones that are needed over to Chordmaster Dope. And yeah, I mean, I've been really liking the update. One thing that I haven't done yet is I have not downloaded or purchased the other uh, gadgets that just came out. I was super... <clears throat> excuse me, super curious about Sydney, um, which is $10. Uh, I was very, very curious about this, but I didn't buy it yet because I wanted, I really, really wanted to be able to connect this and use this as like a looper for my voice within Sydney. But it is my understanding that you can't do that, that you need something like Zurich in order to properly do that, which is kind of disappointing. Um, so like, I was hoping that could be like a, like, you know, like creating some live loops there and then, you know, but I don't think you can do that. If you guys know, otherwise definitely let me know. Um, but right now, yeah, just like, I think the other sort of thing in my mind right now with gadget is, okay. So I've been using Ableton as well. And I understand that Ableton is a much more robust. <coughs> excuse me, much more robust, um, you know, video editing, or I'm sorry, what am I talking about? Audio editing, music, DAW, you know what I'm saying? But this is just so much more fun and instant for me. And now with the new effects, you know, menu and stuff to be able to get in here and do things um, right within the screen, you can really s scope and shape your sound the way that you want it. So for me, the question is like, okay, well, is the work, like which one of these is the main DAW for me, right? Am I just using gadgets solely for ideas like some people do and then, you know, stem them out to something like Ableton and then work on them further there, which doesn't sound fun to me because, again, I, I've i never been into the computer, even though now I have a, a MacBook Pro and that's more mobile and, you know, I, I could see that making more sense. As a matter of fact, I've been using Ableton like out and about and stuff, which is dope. But is that even necessary, right? Do I do, I do that or do I kind of call now gadget my ultimate main home base um and you know say that all of my song like basically where's where are all my songs gonna live and so you know it, it's it's a little bit confusing right to kind of figure that out because um i don't know you have stuff like stuff that i've created in, in my mobile gear as well my opz my op1 um, things like that, even stuff like Koala Sampler. I have a lot of songs that are in Koala Sampler. And so is there a workflow that I know about that I'm maybe I'm going to investigate a little bit further today where I can now move some of Koala Sampler's music, you know, into Gadget? And do I even need to do that? Or does Koala Sampler have its own sort of thing um, for me to kind of, uh, what am I trying to say? You know, like have those songs be a separate thing. Uh, so, yeah, I'm still figuring this out ultimately. Uh, I don't want it to be a thing where it's, like, overwhelming either, where I'm, like, 
it's getting in the way of just making music and having fun because I don't even have at this point a specific um, thing that I'm working towards music wise I'm just kind of enjoying it and just experimenting and stuff although I'm thinking about releasing an album or EP for my son the same way that I did for my daughter um, but I'll figure that out but yeah I just wanted to kind of share that and that's a, just a little bit of insight into kind of what's going on in my mind with regards to this app but I yeah I still really really like it a lot it, it's still just so much fun to use I was connecting it yesterday to my OP1 with one USB uh, C cable and just going to town and just having a blast um, some of the things that I want to still see in here is I I really do want to be able to uh, like MIDI map the mute and solos would be really cool right to connect my op1 here and just have like buttons one through eight on the op1 handle muting that would be insanely helpful um as well as maybe even the dials here this is like kind of weird i'm like holding this the whole time let me put this down uh okay there we go there we go yeah <clears throat> excuse me but yeah ho um yeah using that would be really cool the, the knobs on here as well would be really nice to be able to change the knobs um, to handle the faders uh, for the sounds and stuff, but yeah, let's let's kind of go through a few more of my like dope songs on here and kind of see what else we have here. I think this one should start like this. So then from here, another thing with Gadget, um, when I want to like perform these types of songs, like let's find one, <clears throat> um, that's maybe substantial. Also, let's make sure that loop, that these, like, okay, when I put loop on there and I save it, does that indeed save it as loop? Oh, <clears throat> that's something that needs to be fixed. Why does loop on not stay there after you save a song? That's, I mean, whatever, but you know, that should be the case, I think. But um, yeah, when you're in Gadget and I wanna sort of remix music, if I go into AUM, what I like about this workflow here is I have a, and this could even be expanded upon a bit, 
But if I hit default, you have koala, you have fly tape, and you have knock. What does quality mean? Good, pristine, let's put pristine. Um, and so if I'm playing a song like this, so I'm gonna have that playing and then I'm gonna go in and you could do some cool things like this. So, yeah, I'm going to spend a little bit more time with this today. And, um, yeah, hope you guys are enjoying this app. And, uh, yeah, let me know if there's anything specific that y'all are interested in seeing uh, or questions you have or anything like that, you know, with Koala Sampler, with Core Gadget. <laughs> it's early, yo. What time is it? 6.52 in the morning. I, I got up at 5.30 to practice piano. I have lessons uh, on Tuesdays usually, but today's Wednesday. We had to move it to Wednesday this week. And so it's cool uh, with piano lessons, for me, uh, it, they, they're they holding me accountable, you know, and I'm obviously learning a lot, too. I have an amazing instructor, but they're also, like, yeah, holding me accountable. Like, I don't want to go there and not have some progress from the previous week, unless if there's a re legitimate reason, you know, for that. But, yeah, um, thank you for watching. Get yourself subscribed to the channel. If the video was helpful, please do hit the like button. That would be uh, very much appreciated and uh, super helpful. And uh, I think it's helpful. I have no idea. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go practice a little bit more. I'm going to make some tea. My daughter's still sleeping right here. She is still sleeping, which means I have some more time left to do what I got to do in the morning. I like getting up early, guys. I like getting up early, um, getting some things started in the morning it, rather than the first thing in the morning being just like wake up and take care of, you know, my daughter, get her ready and stuff. I feel just better, you know, getting some things done. So, yeah, cool. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Peace.